Welcome to Adventure Streaming Guys and today we're going to talk about the squid stencils that I put on the bottom of my boat. I get a lot of questions on why I do it or how I do it and it's really simple and you can get as elaborate as you'd like but basically they're handmade stencils with a piece of paper, pencil, some scissors, some tape and a roller. Hopefully you enjoy and really look forward to your comments. And I just typically do a simple squid profile. You could select any type of bait that you use in your particular area up here in the Northeast. Predominantly you see eight, nine, 10 inch squid out here. And it's, it's fun to do, it's simple, and you know, I think it's effective. Nobody can prove that it works, but a lot of people won't put their boat in without actually stenciling these things on. So, you know, here's what you do. I mean, I basically took a squid profile. You can see this old beat up one that I have. It's nothing special. And, you know, maybe separate it out a little bit. You know, again, this doesn't have to be perfect because all you're going to do is run bottom paint over this. Look, nothing pretty. And then you cut it out. That's all you do. And what I'm using here is this is just like a, something I got at Staples, you know, that you can put into a notebook. I find that the poster board looks a little better because it's a little bit thicker, but I had this laying around and uh, I said, let me just use this stuff. All right, there you have it. Pretty simple. All right, so on the bottom of the boat, and I like to use a little bit of a little roller, you put it on the tape near the outside so when you roll off the bottom of the paper, such as this, you're not getting on the boat. I apply it to the boat bottom, say this table's the boat bottom. Right, I'm gonna have my bottom paint. I'm gonna roll it. And I roll it away from these tentacles. Because if you roll it back, these tend to roll up like that. So just roll it away from it. And you know, and you can make as many of these as you want. Sometimes I'll go ahead and make 10 of these, put them all on the boat. This way I'm not taking these things off and trying to use the template. Plus, this is too flimsy to use as another template. This one you could use multiple times. So here we are at the boat, like I talked about this morning. We have our stencils all set. Uh, we have some paint mixed. I'm actually gonna use red and white. Um, sometimes squid do turn into different colors and usually when they're aggressive or going after some bait, I've seen it many times under the lights with a jig, they turn red or amber. So I got a bunch of green squid and up here in the Northeast, the fish just love, this, love to eat green lures. I'm talking about offshore fish but I don't have any red ones up here. So I'm gonna put some red ones in the back. They'll be highlighted against the white paint here. Hey, so how, how did you find out about doing this? Where'd you get the idea to do this? A long time ago, down in Ocean City, Maryland, uh, when I used to live down near there, I went to the IGFA observer class. And it was kind of in February. When I pulled up to the place at a marina where we're gonna have the class, there were all these boats, commercial boats, that had these squid profiles on the bottom. So I said, wow, why can't I do that? And then uh, once I became an observer and went on some of these International Game Fish Association bill tournaments, which are catch and release, I started to talk to all these professional captains that fish all over the world for billfish. And I said, do you put any profiles of bait on your bottom of your boat? And I I'll tell you what, 99% of them all said, I do. I don't know if it helps, but I'll tell you what, I won't put my boat in without having them on the bottom. That's not going to hurt it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and so nobody yeah. would absolutely say, do they help? But they know they didn't hurt. I, and that's kind of the way I feel. You know, I, I've been doing this for a long time now, and it's not a big deal, as you can see. And it certainly doesn't hurt anything. I catch my fair share of fish. And you know what it does? It extends the length of your spread, right? So your spread starts a couple feet behind your transom. School of Fish looks up at the commotion they now have a much larger spread to look at, and maybe it entices them. That's the theory. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but why not, if you have time, do it. Well, I think it's a great idea, like you said, just to make the spread bigger and give you more presence in the water, right? I mean. Well, you know, when these fish look up, I yeah. mean, you know, I mean, they come up, right? I mean, especially tuna, right? They come up usually, and um, you know what? It just gives them a larger profile to look at. I bet you there's a lot of other people that do do that or have thought about it. I'd love to hear your comments of what you've done. Do you really think it works? Do you think if it's a waste of time? So this is 
just my opinion and this is sure. how I do it. I taught somebody else how to do this two years ago and they have an artist in the family and their stencil was gorgeous. I mean, they had the tentacles and they had the profile almost exact. And uh, when I saw what they did, it was very impressive. All right, so I'm gonna go under here and uh, show you how I tape this up just like I showed you at the house on the table. So you can see I already got a couple taped up. I'm gonna tape up this last one. Again, just simple, I'm just using some painter's tape. That's pretty much it. It's a lot windier than it was supposed to be today, so what I'm gonna do is just put some tape on the side. Typical New England weather, unpredictable. Yesterday was 81, was it 52 <laughs> now? So I got a couple of stencils here, a couple on the other side. That's all I'm gonna do this year. You can see I got the green ones. Do you find that you get more hits close to the boat on, on your coastlines? You know what, It's uh, it really depends on the time of day. So early in the morning, I find running my spread closer to the boat is more effective. And then as the day wears on, the sun gets higher, I actually start to pull the, uh, release the spread and go back 10 yards at a time. Gotcha. I just think it's all a perspective on when they're down 200 feet or 150 feet, yep. it gives them more things to look at. Sure, absolutely. You know, and it extends my, in a small boat, it really extends my spread. This so, is a, a 38 foot boat, right? Yes. So this is what I talked about before. See, so you don't want to go backwards because you, you just take the roller and just go up maybe once or twice. First time putting any paint on this roller, so it might take more than once. Again, it's not a beauty contest. That's pretty much it, guys. Again, it's easier if you can do them on multiple. I like, do, I like the... Um, the heavier poster board, just a little easier to use. Mike, we got to put some bunker on the bottom of your boat, man. Yeah. <laughs> right? Actually, it's not a bad idea. I guess we could. See, look, I'm done. That was quick we'll, and easy. We'll wait a couple like of it. minutes and then we'll, we'll pull it off. You know, again, if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. Waxing the engines. Oh, is it? You got what's your what's the top speed of this? Get that question a lot. I mean, it really depends on the load. Yeah. Right, but you know, my son and I have had it out with low fuel. I've hit seventy. Seventy. Yeah, but I mean, I like to cruise, and that's miles per hour. I like yeah, to cruise yeah. at, you know, fifty to fifty-two, forty-eight yep. to fifty-two is the sweet spot for fuel. Um, sometimes on the way back from the canyons, we want to get back and I'll run it. It'll run mid 60s really gotcha, well. Gotcha, yeah. We've waited, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Remember, I don't like to leave it on too long because if the paint's on thick, it could actually start to adhere uh, the paper to the actual bottom. So let's just see what we got here. Nice. Not too bad, a little bit of, again, it doesn't matter. Oh, and here's the other thing, right? Let's say you really botch one out, you just paint right over it and put in right, you put on put paint white white paint right over it and just redo it. That's why I like the Looks thicker good. poster board. And then you know if you want to touch it up with a little brush, you can. I'm not going to. Again, this is what works for me. There's always a better way to do everything in life. And I'd love to learn from you as well as maybe you'll learn something from us here and there probably not worth the time but it looks cooler if you do put an eye on it hey thanks for watching the video and if you haven't subscribed already we would really appreciate that you do we're trying to grow the channel now we're in the spring season get ready to go into the uh, summer season so there'll be a lot of boating and fishing and summer activities so hopefully you enjoyed and i'd love to hear your comments you think this was worth it have you ever tried it do you know anybody that's ever done this um, and maybe you potentially do it. Take care and enjoy your adventures.